everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Conclave. Yes, I finally decided to do another video, guys. So, what are we going to be looking at uh, this week, or well, this time on The Conclave? Also, guys, I do apologise for the low output in videos again. Uh, I'm just I'm finding it so difficult to get stuff going recently, and because it's Christmas and stuff as well, I've got other things to do. But anyway, that's beside the point. Something really, really cool got released the other day, and it's something that I've always thought, why have Games Workshop never done this? And for those of you who remember, there is a fantastic piece of artwork by the one and only, the legend, John Blanche. I am a huge fan of John Blanche's artwork. When I was doing art at um, high school and university, I um, did a lot of like studies on John Blanche, which was, it was just so interesting. And his artwork is just so full of detail and just so morbidly amazing. It's just awesome. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So, John Blanche did a fantastic piece of artwork with a Sisters of Battle Canon S. And Games Workshop have finally finally decided to bring that into reality. So I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm going to treat myself. So I bought myself this model. It is Canon S Viridian, or however you pronounce the name, I'm not entirely sure. And how you can see me in the background there, the, uh, the shine. Hello! <laughs> Just sat behind my camera. That's weird. And yes, I am wearing a Marvel um, dressing gown. But anyway, uh, moving on. Um, so, absolutely amazing model. It is so true to the artwork. Uh, it's amazing. I'm going to have to uh, take the, uh, whatchamacallit, the um, cellophane off this. Eh, because it's causing a horrendous glare. Now, this supposedly was going to be a special edition miniature. However, one of my uh, contacts at uh, Games Workshop has informed me that it is not going to be a uh, limited edition release, uh, and that is to stop the scalpers. So for all you scalping bastards out there that decided to buy all the ones online, I give a big a fuck a you to you. Uh, and yes, I am bleeding. That's because I punched a bin before. But anyway, um, so um, here is the artwork in question. I'm just going to get a little bit of a zoom in. On there, I wish I had a bigger picture. Um, can I be bothered editing in a picture? No, I can't be bothered editing in a picture. Um, anyway, so this was the um, uh, the the cover. I think it was of one of the. I think it was third edition rule book or something like that. And in regards to the actual look of the model. Boom, I think they nailed it pretty, pretty well. Um, there is one, there's a few slight differences, uh, mainly on the scaling. Uh, in this one, she's very, in the actual artwork, she's very, very slender. Uh, but bear in mind, she's supposed to be wearing armour, so how fucking uh, sparrow-legged and bow-legged she must be underneath that is unreal. So in this, they have made it a slight little bit stocky, but they've even got the details down to the base, you know, and what she's like standing on and stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, now, because this is uh, not going to be a limited uh, release, I was thinking of maybe doing two, maybe painting this one up uh, normally, and then maybe converting one into an Inquisitor, but again, I'm not too sure, guys. Uh, so, uh, let's have a look at what's on the, uh, on the sides. You've got just like some regular old just artwork of the actual miniature in question, some little close-ups there, and uh, I'll get out the um, model in just a second. Uh, you've also got a little uh, painting guide on there. God, it's so small, so hard to read. Um, you've got a little painting guide. Oh dear, I'm very aware this is quite a noisy video in regards to the low light that it has. I don't know why, because my lights up there are very, very bright. But anyway, probably because I'm holding it so close to the camera. But anyway, I digress. Um, so it's got a painting guide in there, what paint you need. A lot of paints to paint this one. Uh, and just just because, in case you didn't know, that's a bolt pistol right there. Um, other stuff, let's have a look. Um, oh, 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 for the obvious, stating the obvious award, it's a power sword. Um, yeah, really, really cool piece of kit. And it's got a little um, bit of um, uh, fluff as well there, which is quite nice to see on the box. I don't know whether I might keep this box and just put it on a shelf, because it's very nice. Nicely packaged. I wish GW stuff would always come in these kind of small boxes, rather than the, the blisters. I hate the blisters. The boxes just have a much nicer finish to it. A Canoness is the overall commander and one of the Ordo Militant, a shining example of purity and dedication of purpose within the Adeptus Sororitas. Viridian is a veteran warrior of many hundreds of battles who has risen to her position through a combination of strong leadership, shrewd tactical genius, and sheer faith in the Emperor. So, um, that was a dramatically red little um, flavour text. But anyway, Anyway, guys, let's get into it. Let's look into the box and see what we have uh, here. And as we know, after all, after all, it is an unboxing. I'll probably paint this up in a later video. Uh, and there we go. Oh, holy shit. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> okay, so 
we have this huge packaging for such a tiny model. Uh, okay, so what's, what's this little thing in here? Oh, it's fruit. Ah, fucking come here, you slut. There we go. So we got, I think this must be, yep. Yeah. So we got some very nicely rendered destructions in here. Um, Nice 3D renders. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty self-explanatory um, model as to uh, you know how to put it together and everything like that. Look, you've even got plot spots as to where you put the glue. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. Oh, 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 oh! That is cool. We have stats, everybody. We have stats. Games Workshop, will you stop? Surprising me with your awesome. Um, I'm really impressed with Games Workshop recently, guys. I think they've, they're really turning the company around. Um, yeah, so what do we have here? This is so tiny, I can barely read it. So, um, let's have a look. Uh, Canon S Viridian can be included as part of any detachment or formation that includes a Canon S. Uh, she has a HQ Battlefield Road, a Patrol Disfraction, it costs 85 points. So, 85 points for this um, special character. Uh, on this model, special rules, and comma, uh, Disfraction, or Imperial Agent. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, you can use this as a HQ for any Imperial um, Army uh, base, or any Imperial detachment which is pretty cool um so let's have a look so we got a uh, weapon skill five ballistic skill five good good rounded ballistic, ballistic skill, that's good strength free toughness free and um, basically that's it yeah she, she essentially is a guardsman in power armor she's not a space marine uh wounds three wow so she's a tough bitch <laughs> basically uh, initiative four attacks three nice decent close combat leash at 10 and save three plus not a bad character for 85 points that would be pretty good uh, war gear, bolt pistol, power sword, frag grenades, and crack grenades. So nothing special there. Uh, special rules, activate the independent character, martyrdom, uh, shield of faith, and stubborn. I'm not sure what any of those do. I'm sure that they'll be in the Imperial Agents Codex. Um, oh, a two, two special rules by the looks of it. Clinical precision. Canoness uh, Viridian. Uh, is it Vir 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 yeah, Viridian? Or Vi Vir Viridian. Vir I'm going to call it Viridian because Viridian sound is easy to pronounce. Um, and all friendly units within the Adeptus Serratus faction uh, that are within 12 inches of her have the precise shots and precision strike special rule. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Um, and act of faith. Oh, the passion. So it's their own special rule by the looks of it. Um, one use only is act of faith can be used in either player's assault phase. If successful, all models in the Canis unit gain the hatred special rule. Isn't that a reroll missed attack? Or something? I'm not sure. I'm not too well up on the rules. Oh. Oh, we have this, uh, more more um, rules just in um, other languages, which I cannot read. Um, so let's look at the actual miniature, which is what I'm sure you guys came here to see. Look at this waste of packaging. <laughs> I, you know, I was I was praising GW for the packaging before, and then it's like, oh, oh, oh dear, oh, oh dear, it's very small. <laughs> right, let's open this up. So we get one of the new larger bases, which. Personally, I'm not a fan of. I'm just going to adjust my camera here, guys. There we go. Um, and let's look at the sprue. So, first sprue we're going to pick out. This looks like uh, weapons and a uh, backpack. So, uh, in fact, can I get a good zoom on this? Here we go. So, we've got some very nicely detailed bits of kit. Uh, I'm going to have to get a little bit closer to this, actually. So, we've got a good looking bolt pistol. Uh, the power sword's pretty good. Um, let me see. I just. I just don't fight. This is, for all intents and purposes, shite cast. Oh, by the way, did you know that Games Workshop staff members aren't meant to mention it as fine cast anymore because there's such a bad stigma attached to it? They have to refer to it as high quality resin, and they do so with such glee. It's really funny. Uh, but for me, it will always be remembered as shite cast. I think this is maybe the second ever shite cast model that I've ever bought. Um, it's okay. It's hard to pick up the details on camera actually because it's quite pale and quite white. Um, that base, little base decoration is really cool. I like that a lot. Um, so we've got that. Um, let me just have a look if I can see anything closer up in my eye. No. The detailing's alright. It's not the most detailed on there. Let's have a look on the actual um, Canon S herself. So... Yeah, not too badly. I wish that my light was not shit as ball balls. Let me see if I can bring this light down. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. Is that any better? Oh yes, that's that's quite a bit better. I just wish that I could 
Oh my god, this is the lighting is horrendously um, not going according to plan today, guys. Sorry, do apologise. Um, so yeah, so it's some nice detailing on uh, her itself, her, her bodice and her uh, power armor is really cool. Um, detailing on her face, um, I really wish I had better fucking light because then I'd be able to zoom in on the face. In fact, um, I'm gonna cut, let one of my lights recharge a little bit, and then I will be back in a second. Alright guys, sorry for this extreme close up, but the miniature is so finely detailed uh, and so small that I need to get this close up to be able to show you anything. Um, you can see the, the blood and sweat of Games Workshop employees that were made to make this resin. Um, but anyway, so uh, now that I've got a much better um, ability to uh, do close ups, um, here she is. Uh, she's really, really detailed. I mean, I love the detailing on the skull boobies. Skull boobies are cool. We like skull boobies. Um, detailing around like her little like knee plates and stuff is really really good. Quite a lot of flashing. Um, I must admit for high quality resin, uh, I'm gonna have to uh, do a little bit of cleanup on this, which I'm not uh, overly used to on um, GW stuff. I'm normally for drill, but not GW. Um, <coughs> these shoulder pads, pretty nice. So we've got a nice um, Aquila and then a lovely Fleur de Lis as well. Again, they're not the best detailed bits of kit, truth be told. Uh, and then we have a little um, loincloth type thing going on there with the, some more fleur de lis on. And we've got a tiny, tiny little servo skull. It's like a servo skull of a small child or a baby. Oh, how morbid the 41st millennium is. Um, but yeah, so that's so that, that's her. Let's see if we can get, any, get a super zoom close up of her face. There we go. Oh, the face detection is actually picking it up. That is weird. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. I, I like it a lot. It's going to paint up quite nicely. Let's go back to the actual, to the other sprue that we have. So we can look at a bit more detail. So here's her backpack. Let's flip it over and just have a little look. Some nice detailings on there. It's not overly detailed, but it is quite cool. Uh, power sword. Uh, again, um, the skull detailings on the power sword aren't that great. Got to be said. Um, hopefully it's just because, you know, it, hopefully it'll pay it up a lot better, but that remains to be seen. Um, so some quite, I, I like the detailing on her arm here, it's pretty cool, it's like, she, it's like reinforced with like bionics and stuff like that. Um, what else? Oh, here we have the um, the bolt pistol. Let's look at that a little bit again. So that's, again, that's alright, you've got some like cool like reinforcings of like the knuckles and stuff, which is pretty interesting. Nothing on the other side? No, nothing on the other side, it's pretty much plain. And then we have the cool little um, base um, decoration. There we go. That she stands on. That's really cool. I, I really like that. I like it a lot. Excellent. So, um, let's uh, go and build her, shall we not? Right guys, so I have been away and I have decided to not only build her, but I've decided to paint her as well. Uh, please excuse the awful paint job on this miniature, guys. It is... Without a doubt, probably one of the worst miniatures I have painted uh, recently. I'm really not happy with the way the paint job turned out on it. Um, but I am and I'm not. Um, I didn't really like the fact that the face detailing, um, there's not very much. It's quite shallow, so I couldn't really get in there. And I hate painting flesh anyway. Uh, what else I hate also more than painting uh, flesh? I hate painting white. And... Uh, she had white hair on the box art and obviously the, the flesh colour of her face. So I decided, you know what, but also we're going to go with a redhead um, sister of battle here. So I decided to change it for that. Now, one of the things that I was very happy about was the way the black turned out. Obviously, Sisters of Battle, um, for the most part, are black armour. And this is really, really cool. It's kind of like, you can't really see it too well on the camera. It's a bit too, too light. But it's like a black with silver flecks in it. And for those of you guys that are wondering, it's a Vallejo uh, Negro Metal, so black metal, uh, 71.073. And that's how you get that. It's like a very, very off black. It's like um, a very, very dark grey in terms of colour. But most of the other stuff on it turned out pretty nice. The detail painted up pretty well. I'm not sold on the sword yet, though. I might go over and repaint that just because... I tried to make it look like my Grey Knights ones, and it just didn't look right at all on the sister. So I might just do a regular metal sword. Maybe it's not been powered up or something, I don't know. But nonetheless, it's a pretty cool miniature. One of the things that's got to be said about it as well, it is very, very small. And the box art kind of makes it look a lot bigger. Um, bit of an issue with that, really, the Games Workshop. The fact that a lot of their stuff is very misleading on the box art. I'm not too happy about that. But nonetheless, it's pretty cool. Um, now, one of the other things uh, that I'll talk about as well is... Now, because of this miniature coming out, um, and obviously with me doing a uh, that my uh, watch, call it uh, conclave idea, 
there are plastic sisters coming out by looks of it, guys. So I might end up getting a few of them and see how things go. Because uh, obviously I'll use her as a H. I might even have her as a HQ. Just have a squad of sisters of battle or a squad of um, is it Nephilim or Sephirim or something like that? I can't remember which ones it is. And do you know what? I actually have the book somewhere, but I don't know where that is. Um, it's kind of vanished on me. I didn't have it to hand. Anyway, I'll do a little separate review on the uh, new Imperial Agents Codex coming out. But yeah, so there might even be a squad of sisters to go with this particular miniature, just to really round it all off. Just because, again, it's quite interesting to paint. Uh, and also, I think you can get a sister to battle with just helmets, which is even better, which means I don't have to paint flesh at all. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Like I say, I do apologise that the paint job on this is god-awful. And uh, I hope to see you again soon in the next video, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. See you now, and goodbye. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and also don't forget to comment down below in the doobly-doo. Goodbye, bye-bye, bye. -bye, bye.